Boxing visits the web at www.spnboxing.com. Let's speak boxing. Who are we going to speak about? We're going to speak about Miguel Cotto versus Sergio Martinez. Set June 7th, Madison Square Garden, New York. That fight, I have to go. I have to try to be there. That's that's going to be a hell of a fight. Hell in New York. Come on, man. It's Sergio Martinez versus Miguel Cotto. That's going to be an action-packed fight. That's ballsy for Miguel Cotto to take that fight. At He's coming up in weight. He's naturally a 147, but he had to come up 154. Now, he's, he's a smaller opponent. Coming up at a catch weight at 159, that's 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 really ballsy, especially going to fight Sergio Martinez. Yes, Sergio Martinez went through surgery, and he's still recovering from that. Yes, but Sergio Martinez is 39 years old. He's he's peaking 40, whatever the case may be. But the motherfucker's bad. He's been feared by many. He's been ducked. He's been dodged. He's been whatever the case may be. Um, Sergio Martinez is the true. Sergio Martinez is the real deal. Like I said, Miguel Cotto has some balls to step in the ring against Sergio Martinez. Sergio Martinez, he's from Argentina. He's 39 years old. He's 51 and 2. With two draws, he definitely has the punching power. He has the boxing ability. He's, 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 he's a complete fighter. Um, he's beat Kelly Pavlik when Kelly Pavlik was in his peak. He's beat uh, Paul Williams. He's beat Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Now, his last three fights, he's been dropped. One, He's been dropped his last three fights. A lot of people were debating, you know, Controversy against Martin Murray, um, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. They dropped him in the twelfth round, but he Chavez Jr. was getting his ass whipped the whole entire fight. Um, but he got dropped the last twelfth round. You know, a lot of people were just like, "Well, you know, if Sergio Martinez was pressing him, if Sergio Martinez would have, I mean, uh, if Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. would have fought like he did in the twelfth round, then it would have." No, 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 no. Whatever the case may be, Sergio Martinez whipped that ass. He completely dominated Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Um, that whole entire fight. A lot of people also thought that Sergio Martinez lost to Matthew Macklin. Um, they were debating as far as the Darren Barker fight, but there's nothing to debate about Darren Barker fight or the last four fights before that because he, he knocked the motherfuckers out. He's won by KO or PKO, but it's just his last three fights. A lot of people are just down his ability. But anyways, what's going on with that Sergio Martinez? Sergio Martinez is upset. He's pissed. He's being bullied, even though Sergio Martinez is all for anti-bullying. But now he, he has a lot to say about Miguel Cotto and his personality. And he wants to expose Miguel Cotto, you know, for what it is. That fight, like I said, is going to take place um, June 7th. I'm going to try my best to definitely be out there. I got to be in the building. I got to um, I just got to take that whole environment in Madison Square Garden with Miguel Cotto. He, he has the backing in Madison Square Garden. That's why in the negotiation, Sergio Martinez was a little upset of Miguel Cotto's disrespect he felt like Sergio Martinez is the champ he felt he's the champ he should have the demands but Sergio Martinez wants to take this fight whether it's the splitting of the purse whether it's the location whatever the case may be Sergio Martinez sat down and made this fight happen and met all Miguel Cotto's demands because honestly Miguel Cotto you know he picked Madison Square Garden he picked the purse he picked um the catch weight um he picked everything you know, and he, he wants the fans to know about that. You know, um, Sergio Martinez is, uh, you know what, if, if Sergio, I understand what Miguel Cotto is saying because Miguel Cotto, I mean, Sergio Martinez was, was calling out Mayweather after the Julio Cesar Chavez fight, junior fight, and he's willing to come down to 154 to fight Mayweather or at a catch weight. So he offered that, he put that on the table, but Miguel Cotto is actually saying, you know what, I don't need you to come down to 154, 150. You know what, I'm going to take one pound off of you. If you can make 159, whatever the case may be. And I understand that Julio, I mean, Sergio Martinez has been a 154 fighter and he's done that, but he hasn't did that in years. And plus he's 39 years old. So that one, one, one pound is definitely going to make a difference. It's definitely going to make a difference. But if he'd offered it to Mayweather, hey, why not? You know, so I understand uh, that little bitch in the complaining. You know, I understand where Sergio Martinez is coming from, but Miguel Cotto is coming in a smaller opponent. A lot of, a lot of people, you know, both of these, both of these fighters... I can't say much. Miguel Cotto, he, he, you know, that guy's a beast. He's definitely a beast. He's 38 and 4 um, with 31 KOs. He's trained, he's changed trainers several times. He's with, uh, he looked good against Devin Rodriguez. I was in Orlando Arena that he had a big balcony in Orlando. Um, knock out Devin Rodriguez, which everyone knew that he was going to win that fight because Devin Rodriguez is pretty much a nobody. But still, he looked good against Freddie Roach with Freddie Roach in his corner. Um, he looked good with Diaz in his corner as well, but he, he's getting better and better. And he's going back to old Miguel Cotto. Um, he's looking to, to make history. He's looking to make history, but, um, I've, I've been hearing it. 
I've been hearing it. You know what, Sergio Martinez? old, but you, do you think he, Miguel Cotto has? You know, he bit a little. Um, he bit a little too much on this one. Um, he's taking a little bit too much on this one. Uh, my fight predictions, but I'll get into that in a little bit. But let's get into what's been going on with the Paris conference and and Sergio Martinez having dislike and hate for him um, because of these man the demands that he's been making. Um, Miguel Cotto, you know, has been this this has been going on for years. Sergio Martinez has been. Um, talking shit about Mayweather, but not really too much about Mayweather because he thinks Mayweather's the best, whatever, but he's been calling out Mayweather for a long time. He's been talking about shit about, and especially Spanish standards that I'm and stuff like that. He's been calling out Miguel Cotto, um, but Miguel Cotto, him and Miguel Cotto have been going back and forth. Miguel Cotto says, like, look, you know what, check your resume, you know, because Miguel Cotto has beat everybody. He's done fought everybody. You know, he's fought um, good class fighters. Miguel Cotto has, has fought Margarito. Margarito beat Sergio Martinez, but this is a long time ago. Um, he's fought Floyd Mayweather Jr. Um, he's fought pretty much every, you name it, if you go down the list, besides uh, the last fight, Delvin Rodriguez, but he, he's fought Mayweather. You know what? He's fought Antonio Margarito. He's fought Zab Judah. He's fought uh, Pauli Montanaji. Um, he's fought a lot, a lot, a lot of fighters out there. That And he just feels that his resume is, is a lot better than Sergio Martinez's um, resume. But Sergio Martinez, you know, there's 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 a lot of talent up there, but you got to understand a lot of people have been ducking and dodging Sergio Martinez as a whole. Um, so Miguel Cotto is definitely not giving him credit for that. But say what you want, Miguel Cotto's a beast. You know, if, if this was Miguel Cotto versus Adrian Broner, I would go for Miguel Cotto. If this is Miguel Cotto versus um, Amir Khan, that would be a hell of a fight. I would go for Miguel Cotto. Timothy Bradley versus Miguel Cotto, I would go for Miguel Cotto. Um, Miguel Cotto versus... Um, uh, fuck, if Miguel Cotto versus Canelo Alvarez, that, you know, he, Canelo Alvarez completely outboxed and beat the shit out of Alfredo Angulo because, but styles make fights. I'll go for Miguel Cotto, um, and I think Miguel Cotto will definitely give Canelo Alvarez a good fight after, if he gets past Sergio Martinez. Now, Sergio Martinez has been a inactive, but what happens, what happens, you know, a lot of people are just, they're doubting his ability, but my, I, I just don't see it. I don't see Miguel Cotto coming up in weight as far as carrying that power. And that's the only thing that that Miguel Cotto has going for him. Yes, he works the body. Yes, he has that left hook. And he, he's deadly. But he, he didn't do too much damage to Austin Trout. And Austin Trout, is it's a, it's a B-minus fighter. Austin Trout was able to complete, completely dismantle Miguel Cotto. Took Miguel Cotto earlier in the rounds. Yes, Miguel Cotto won earlier in the rounds. But the second half of the fight, Austin Trout was the more active fighter and outboxed Miguel Cotto, flustered him, frustrated him. And you were talking about a B-minus fighter. You know what? And had enough in the tank to go ahead and outbox Miguel Cotto and beat Miguel Cotto. Now, you can't, you can't compare Delvin Rodriguez to Austin Trout. You put Austin Trout in the green ring against Sergio Martinez, I think Sergio Martinez will completely fucking um, knock him out. Um, so with that said, um, but I know Styles, Styles make fights. But Miguel Cotto wasn't able to provide that damage um, and have that punch and power to do anything to Austin Trout. Um, yes, Mayweather's a whole different ballgame, so I'm not even going to talk about Mayweather. But I'm saying at 154, Miguel Cotto has punch and power. But at 159, and you're going, you're going against a guy of the likes of Sergio Martinez, who's, who, who's fought Sir, uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Yes, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., Macklin, and these guys has dropped him. But does Miguel Cotto hit his hard as Sergio Martinez does? I mean, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr.? Hell no. You know, Miguel Cotto hits hard, don't get me wrong. But a, 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 a big dude like Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. walking around 175, 180, and, and, and hits you with some straight power because he has a lot of weight. That it's it's just it's a whole different punch. It's a whole different ball game. Yeah, Miguel Cotto's quick. I think Miguel Cotto's gonna look quicker. He's gonna be a lot faster coming in round one, coming in round two. He's he, he can win by points and he can be, you know, they're gonna fill each other out. But Sergio Martinez is no joke as far as endurance wise. He's gonna fight all twelve rounds for you. But what happens when, you know, the only thing about Miguel Cotto, he looked good against, uh, he definitely looked good against uh, Antonio Margarito. Antonio Margarito kept pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing. And endurance-wise, he looked good there. Um, Austin Trout, he looked shitty. 
he looked shitty against Austin Trout. He looked, he was getting frustrated. He was getting tired. But Sergio Martinez, I just don't see it. You know, Sergio Martinez, whoa, that's his style. His style um, fights with his hands down. And a lot of fighters and a lot of boxers are saying, they're, you know, a lot of fans are saying, you know what, um, fundamentals is going to win. You know, they feel like, you know, Miguel Cotto is more fundamentally tuned and Miguel Cotto has the better boxing ability. You know, and, and Sergio Martinez, the reason he's been dropped his last three fights is because Sergio Martinez is reflexes. That's why he's been dependent on is his reflexes. Just like Roy Jones Jr., they compared him to Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. Um, and and my boy, the Prince Nassim, they, they basically said, you know what, reflexes, reflexes, reflexes. As you get older, you lose the reflexes. So, um, and the only thing that you can have, like Bernard Hopkins, as he age, is that is that fine-tuned boxing ability. It's just the basics and being able to box and knowing how to box. So them fundamentals and basics will will will, will keep keep your age going. So as you get older, Sergio Martinez reflexes are going to get down, so he doesn't have them fundamentals to fall back on. So a lot of people feel that you know what, he's not as quick and he doesn't have the reflexes. That's why Miguel Cotto is going to land the big shots. Miguel, I honestly think Miguel. I, I just don't see it, guys. I, I don't see it. Kenneth SB in boxing this is my fight prediction on this fight. Um, I, my heart goes out to Miguel Cotto. My heart goes out to Miguel Cotto. I would like to see Miguel Cotto win this fight. But um, it's really up to Sergio Martinez. That's that's basically it. I see Sergio Martinez ending this fight. I see Sergio Martinez upsetting a lot of fans. And I see Sergio Martinez um, late stoppage. You know, I, I see Sergio Martinez knocking out Miguel Cotto. That's how I see it. You know, I, I think the ref's going to stop the fight. That's the way I see it. I think Sergio Martinez, um, after round four, he's going to... He's going to completely outbox and, and do his thing against Miguel Cotto. And, and I, I'm not saying too much. I think Miguel Cotto is going to land a, He's going to land some shots. He's going to put his hands on Sergio Martinez. He's going to work the jabs. But I don't think Miguel Cotto is going to carry over that punching power to do anything to Sergio Martinez that he hasn't had before. You know, um, punching power-wise, I just don't see it. Sergio Martinez is just as quick. But anyways, guys, say what you want. This is my opinion. I'm not an analyst. I'm not ESPN. This is not my job. This is just my hobby. I'm speaking as a boxing fan. Um, the fight, the way I see it going down, I see Sergio Martinez taking, you know, getting caught by Miguel Cotto earlier on in the fight. And then, you know, Sergio Martinez is going to adapt. Adapt and adjust and, and land the bigger shots and bigger clean blows. And dissect Miguel Cotto and eventually is going to be a late round stoppage. But anyway guys, this is Kenneth that's me in boxing. Let me know what you guys think. Sergio Martinez versus um, Miguel Cotto, June 7th. Have a good one.